ولی کوئی تحبر نه یکی توی که نبی چونده چه
We are going to run a very short uh, program uh, for the family, uh, the speakers. Uh, thereafter, we will continue with the service as planned. I would like to ask Father Mpomohale to come forward. You know he's very tall, you will all see him. Uh, to come forward and conduct the pro program for us, the program of the day. Thank you very, very much. We may be seated. Ya lujume di sabote libitong le mata la morena le mupuluswa kalenge so Christ Amen. Re rata ho amuhela bote baru kopaning sebelo ton ena emasunoko ya ho pata lo filehita the Reverend Kenon Israel Kwelani me jalo ka ha Kenon sabantuana aseta mupile kiko kupa hore di bui te kupu enkele la pa hore bato bato fiti sa di tribute. Really, can get about it. We've got a lot of things. Still, we can't go on. Father Koelani, they do not go on. We never show can. We have to lay low. We have to be patient. Lord, come and for the sake of time, for the sake of logistics. We talk about the boy. We have to learn. Really, can we? We be as short as possible. We have to say, "Fella, my life is a matter of time. My life is a matter of time." Harkala program yarona let us bow our heads and pray. Dear Lord, we give you thanks for the gift of life. We give you thanks for the life that you had given unto this your servant, the Canon Israel. We thank you, Almighty God, for your hand of support and your hand of encouragement upon the family from Nakueu Ntate Kwalane Arisile Mufitelamona. We thank you for your protection. Have a tua hae who sing who fitela mona mudimia matla ose. Mere nehela who ena tebeleto ena ntatia matla ose. Horehadi buidi said buile harse refitiste mantuaruna matsiriso. 
re tle re utlwe go wena modimo ya matla o hle o re tisa o re matlafatsa o re fa matla a ho re tle re tsebe o bina pina ering because you live jesus we can face tomorrow re hlone wa fatsa ke wana modimo ya matla o hle le bitso le matla la modimo ntate mora le moya o halalelang amen ha ke qale ke go pe a tribute Uh, from the family ya hantate kwelani hungotswe mona ntate habi rabits ratsibela hore a to fitisa molaitsa on behalf of the kwelani family ho motsora marapo baruti ka ufela ba lengeng se ba kensena bothe ba kile ba sebetsa le o utwa rona eleng Israel ba ni kwelani o bothe ba le loko ba na ba hae ko mofumadi wa hae o bothe reali dume disa ka le bitso le letle la morena wa rona eleng Jesu Christ amen se ba ke nsana jwale re le family ya kwelani ri tlile fela go lebowa se kholo se ri batla go se lebowa ke go lebowa modimo go re ka di mampho e kholo jeno o butwa rona ene ele e moholo ka ra le lapa la batho ba 10 re ne re misa number 1 la pe jwa le nna ke number 80 ka ra le lapa ya no ka mo go jwa lo u bile pilara ka ra le lapa la rona are tlokomela ile ntho motho ya supportang all these families una sa khete gore o jwang empane ona ipona ha ka ba ka leo ri le bo ha modimo ka tsela e makatsana me re rata o nkana ko yena ri buwe le bana ba hae le mofumadi wa hae le mwetsi ya hae le ditloholo tsa hae Really, really you paid a tremendous price in life you shared him with the world and we want to take this moment really really bo thank you for really allowing or le mo share le rona itsa ke mametse be ke yena ka o fela ku tswa ka mo khomi sebetsi ya yentse kile ka tsa matsela le yena kile ka bona a ri fitla thabantsho ke bona mo sebetsi wa hoentse a fi ka social worker ke bona mo sebetsi wa hoentse ra ya le soto ka ya o bona mo sebetsi wa hoentse tsena ka o fela ka fitla mona ke bona a ratwa ke batho ke bona impact a yentse maphelong a batho ba bangata ne ke ya le boa re le boa modimo ka mo sebetsi wa hoentse ha ke tsebi gore go rona ke mang ya tla kwa lang se kheo sena ka ra le apa la rona me ke rata o ba jesa ke re le ntseng la modimo tafita ore the afflictions of the righteous are many but the lord delivers them from them all are ke re tieng are se ka ba ra fela pelo me mantsinana ke rata ha polenela ka mantsiana a ngo tseng ke paulo se bukeng ya act chapter 20 verse 32 are now brethren i commend you to god and unto the word of his grace which is able to build you up and to give you an inheritance among all that are sanctified how na le to se re ne re se tseba ka utwa rona ntwe re ne re se ba fela ha ona le to re re ne re mo tseba ka yona ha isa le re mo tseba ha re fa le to ntho tse ding empane o re file modimo ntho e kgolo e a re file nyona tse ding di ka nyelela empane le ratola modimo ha le fetohe se ba ke nsena ke rata hore ke reke le botlhe le baruti botlhe ba ne ba sebetsa le yena ke rata o le jetsa ke re ke nnete le utlile botlhoko paulo se ore we are troubled on every side yet not distressed we are perplexed but not in despair persecuted but not forsaken cast down but not destroyed ema mo ha wa modimo a belelona a ke ke a ba le tlwela modimo a le tlhola le fase re a le bo ke a le bo ha ndate ratsibela ka mantswe a gothatso mantswe a matla eh ke phethefela mantswe wa buileng eh i think on behalf of the church 
and not only the diocese of Christ the King, but the different dioceses. We want to thank the family. Sometimes we end up neglecting family because of the work of the church. And you persevered, you supported him. And wherever uh, Father Kwelani was, you would see which shows, which was a sign that there was support and there was a tsihetsuetsuang from Lilapa and togetherness. I've got a different uh, program to what Batwaba Mbana Leona, so please bear with me. Because how is it going to be? 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 The Reverend Father Tabo Katsana, Hore atore balla tabu pelo ba mufu hore tere tsebe hore antente who is the Reverend Canon Israel Kwelani. Uh, thank you, Program Director. My deepest sympathy and condolences to the family and for affording me this wonderful opportunity and the privilege. Uh, Without any waste of time, Tabatamufudi Kamukha Ochina, Reverend Kenon Israel Pani Kwelani was born on the 20th of July 1943 in Bolokanang, Petersburg. He was the first of the ten children of the late Violet Masse Kwelani. He started his schooling at Bantu Community School in Petersburg and proceeded to Bantu High School, Suhune Law Secondary School in Bloemfontein. He attended high school at St. Agnes Tiatianing, TY, Lesotho, where he matriculated in 1962. The Anglican Church, Church St. Patrick's Mission in Bloemfontein, sent him to England to, to, for theological education until 1967. He was ordained as a deacon by the late Bishop Frederick Amor in 17 December 1967. He was ordained as a priest by the late Bishop Frederick Amor in 1968. From 1968 to 69, he served as an assistant priest at St. Augustine, Tabancho. He entered into holy matrimony with Aida Xiaomeng Ngakatau in 1970. They were blessed with three children, being Chuaro, now late, Malisole, and Holesejo. Holesejo. Between 1970 and 1974, he served as the rector of St. Peter Zamdela Sosolbeck. From 1975 to 1980, he served as the rector of St. Augustine Tabanchu. During the, this period, he oversaw the relocation of the old church and the building of new one. From 1981 to 89, he served as the Dean of the Cathedral of St. Mary and St. James in Maseru, Lesotho. During this period, he represented the Diocese of Lesotho at provincial level and oversaw the building of the church in Ditutain. 
During the period of 1990 to 2001, he served as the Archdeacon of the Val Triangle and Senior Priest in the Diocese of Christ the King. He saw that he was a director of St. Michael's and All Angels in Zone 13 Subukeng, St. Lawrence Zone 7 Subukeng, Church of the Resurrection Zone 14 Subukeng, St. John's Wipatong and St. Mary Magdalene Zone 17 Subukeng. He was instrumental in the development of the Church of the Resurrection. To date, the Church has hosted many diocesan-related and community events. Together with the wider interfaith church family, he was involved in bringing comfort and healing to those who were traumatized or injured during violent incidents of conflict that broke out in the, in the Val Triangle in the early 90s. From 2003 to 2006, he was the rector of St. Augustine, Ratanda Hetelbeck. From 2007 onwards, he acted as a relieving priest for St. Andrew's Restival, St. Martin Sikelo Meatin, Holy Spirit Chapel Three Rivers, and the Church of St. Mary and St. John Ferenachim. Together with the late Ndate Vincent Lutwa, he launched the, blue, uh, the Brotherhood of St. Andrews in the Anglican Church of Southern Africa. Today, the organization has a large membership based throughout the province. In recognition of his contribution over the years, he received a mayoral award from the mayor of Infuleni in 2012. Again, Ndate Kwelani also served brothers and sisters as a chairperson of Val Professional Senior Citizens, as a chaplain. He is survived by his beloved wife of 50 years, Aida, daughter Malisole, son Khulolisekho, daughter-in-law Nobuhle, grandchildren Ntlanta Teboho and Kateho together with six siblings. May his soul rest in peace.
ha father tabo ke rata hore motsotso wa ana jwale ka ntlo tsenyo ya nako ke kope ho setse di buitse pedi ka potse tshagonyana fela eh ha re fitla re fitla fela se dotana re mata hanye di 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 tumediso tsa rona le di tumediso tsa di buitse seng di fitile so ha o fitla fitla fela o kena ditabeng hore fela re bolokena ko re sentse re tseba ho o go hlompile bohle o go dumeditse bohle re kopa fela ka boikokobetso re 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 kena ditabeng ha re tla e re ke bitse he a tribute by the ngakata wu family rep ntate le bohang mapota or ataka pele a tlo fana ka tribute le molaitsa wa matsidiso ukololwa me no nyu kana no ukololwa me no nyu ke le boge re moradisi motsamaisi wa tiro ya go mpijeno bo etele dipele ba kereke bo bofano botle protocol observed ja ka motsamaisi wa tiro a setse a buile ha ke na go ya lololo go bua le bogang mapota go tswa kwa thabantsho o tlogola kwa ganga ka tau me ke biditswe jaana gore ke tlo go bua ka yo rangwane Rangwane yo kana ko e neng e motshwanetse ene yo a robetseng go mpijeno lina la gagwe e le Israel me ka phetolelo go tswa mo bokeng e kgolo e le motlhopiwa wa modimo God's elected one yo lina la gagwe e nileng lina le bese romo lina le le marelelo botlhe ba ba tshidileng le ene ba mo itsile ka mogho a neng a ikantse ka teng mo tsa tumelo ya sekrasite ka nako eo ya aneng a tshela mo bosweng jwa gagwe a bona ka le itlhole le bogale go thabantsho moradio nkoko ame na ka go nkoko ame yo a bidiwang a ida se a omeng se a o meng lo a toboketse lo se a o meng ska o mafela e se sa o meng se a o meng nga ka tau me bone bo bedi bo ba tse go fadiwa ja ka motsamaisi wa tiro a setsa ba dile ka ba o bana ke ne ke re mo le ineng la nako ha o ntetla Moradisi ke tle ke se ka bua go nne hang ka bua ke tla bua lololo ke mpe ke le fe a breast speech se le ngo re ke ne ke ke re ke fete ka sone well in time during his tender age he zoomed into the ngakata house clan and saw a young innocent soul the daughter of my grandmother's younger sister and together they became a match made in heaven and they were blessed with three wonderful chip of their own genetic material. They may, if they want these remaining ones, change, change their social or cultural attributes, but will never change their genetic inheritance. That will remain with them. The man so great in stature, yet so humble, down to earth, gentle, but very steadfast and firm in his belief system. That is Israel, the one we know. He knew his knows and counted his yeses. Very true that value has value only if its value is valued. This man was. He came across to many, many of us as a mediator and unifier during tribulations and despair of many families. He sought to improve the welfare of many. He was indeed the true servant of God. During his tenure, as it was said in Tabanchu, 
He built or he oversaw the building of a very beautiful big church. Even today, it is in, still in good use and good shape. So well, so good as he was. We, the Ngakatao clan, are now poorer today without this valuable character in our midst. He will be dearly missed. Rendering Mitsafada. Lebako Haiba Holobaneba Mitsafada. Me father, oh, on Asa Bulele Fella, Boemo Bobo Holomo Kerekin, in a lere, wa bote, Aleka Huruanya bote. Amudimo, recently, Lemar Robetian Hope, Wahahue, or Robaleka Kahiso, Meta Roto Habu Bibong, or Tohele, Kale Hodimo, Kalebo. I can attest to that where he's built a very beautiful church called Tabanchu. We only hope and trust that Bar sits in Leon. But I never do live in Chocomela or on the seven to a high Oscar Fella Fella. Rale Boha, Datema Potaki Bite, Date Tabisom Savala, Ruquilo Hore, a father, Ule A, a founder. A brotherhood of St. Andrew in the province of the Anglican Church of Southern Africa. So, Bo Ntate Musaba Laki Bonabato, Basseting, Batsore de Baton, or Batsolepin, Tate Musabala, Kama de Dia Mararu Felor Kata, Ofete, Zoloka de Tota. Uh, Father Israel was a wonderful person. Not that because he's lying down here, but because of the After his sabbatical, I'm sure, go America. He, when he took his sabbatical, he went to Virginia, our link diocese where he met up with the Brotherhood of St. Andrew. And he saw it fitting to bring it along and introduce it to us. And we embraced it. In such a way that we have moved from one diocese here or now where it started to now the fourth diocese which we have got to induce again. We call the family, I'll say that we are trying our level best to spread the brotherhood as much as we can. Uh, the membership has grown. I'm sure when we're celebrating 20 years in the country, when the brotherhood was celebrating 200 years, we're only celebrating it 20 years in the country. Uh, it was started 1886. So it's an old, old, old guild. He saw and he really said, wow, what a number of men that could fill up that hall in the discussions and the deliberations of the brotherhood. Uh, we are happy to have had him as our chaplain. Uh, we are happy a family ilayar kapen. Kopla lo na na rimisar ate koro na kol khalon la mansopa. When the when Khulu had to drive him through to to be with us for that day, it was wonderful to have him, and his wisdom will always cherish that. I will always always think of him when it's tough. But ilika nete father, what you are doing? We are not going to let him down. We we'll say to the family, we are not going to let the brotherhood go down. Thank you very much. What I like to say always in the Christian walk, uh, we are not in positions that we are in for the sake of occupying, but to train others. For Mr. 
the Venerable David Masonoko, who uh, also represents the diocese, Oscar is our key to your Lord, Tunga ya lolo lolo. Oga fella one two three, and then we're going to say that we say that we need to pick up two fella. It's a certain or it's about color the requiem mess. Ah, kilebo he ho mozama isu amu sebezi. Puta olelo na rili du medise. Kali biso lamre na rona linjeso kreste. Amen. Puta osapi le aki emasi ba kense na. Baba tuere ndi progre mere abona hore mo kame duwa tebele to e na ene chanti be bishop wa diocese bishop William Mostek ho ya kadi arrangements but ma ubani kusibu kabo e itrifu mani call members of chapter the group chat mo bishop wa kopani le matuenyo hoteng abo pilo baha kwelani ai nzi ngure atu ka ro diocese kalba kalama baka busi mbona bo so sape le pute o mema kwelani le bana Le family yo cheritisa apology e o ya bishop o me reabona ho re hali bitso la ne se le ngotswe ho tshong it was well arranged jwa le ka le suma thafela wo hla di nthotseng a ta busiwu mabaka a bophelo a lokela ho re a tlhoe ka go diocese a lokwala mabaka mang and for that ritisa apology ya boikokobetso ha holo on behalf of bishop o on behalf of diocese but re le bo ha modimo ho bane ka manta ha bishop o gonne ho tla femeling a dula le le lapa a rapela le le lapa ga reflect a bophelo ba fara kolane ga tsheya wa ba monati ka la bone bishop was available ko memorial servicing mo ineng ile yena mo geri wa tshebeletso eo and looking forward for today mara dintho be di etsa hala go bane a kire ha re rega ketelong na nthotse go sa ditsebeng tse etsa hala so re kopa tshwarelo a holo on behalf of bishop me makolane le family ka le bakala that inconvenience e hlahileng me re rata hore boemong ba diocese ba hesu boemong ba ba ruti boemong ba bohle ba phelang ka go diocese ya Christ the King ba ne mbalaka ditso ba tense ba kense ka le bakala dipehelo tse le ntsa bo di covid 19 but ba bangata ha ba gona ho ba teng mara we know hore mo ba le ntse they are praying for us they are praying for you as the family ba le boha modimo ka bophelo ba father Israel Kolane me ke rata hore puthe o re 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 le bo ntate modimo ha holo ka le tlotlo le na le le kana kana le o kereke e neng e le ruile in the person of father Israel Kolane ba ba mba gona re kile ga ba di severatsa ha eko St John's bi patong kana ko e fitileng bo chemba ka ba heso pele ke tso fala yana me ga tse ba gona le one or two three things tse o re ithutileng ho tsone because of his experience as a priest mo a ile nga kopana le matshwenyeo and remained calm in the midst of many storms le rona personally ha re kopana le di storms we would go to him phone him tleji meeting o dule le yena ka tlasa sifate ha o tloha mo o tlwe o ikutla o fila betere ha ho me ga le boa for that but ba tswana le bonta te kwelane o na sabitswe fela father because he's a male figure and a priest but can net in a lintat me ba tswane ba motse ba ha holo father was very calm marhabu a abu a whole lot of sense me ile ntate ha ho me o etsa go some of us ba salla morao ha o ntsona ba tswa father father we put or am i worthy to be called this am i worthy to be called this because how no bua le fara kwela no no utlwa hore ke keta o bua le ntate ke keta o engage le ntate and ke feel better ke bona bophelo ke bona kereke in a different way me u ikokobelletsa tshebeletso ya ntate modimo me i'm saying to our colleagues if those titles still rebitswang ka tsona the esteem e o kereke le batho ba re beang ho tsona are we worthy of that i think we owe that to the legacy ya batho ba tswana le bona ntate qelane for each one of us to reflect and say am i worthy of this title e o kereke le modimo by bailing go dimakana and for that re re fara kolane a phumole ka khotso mo sebetsi wa hai wo phetile ho setse nna le wena ba setse le fatsheng ke a le bo wa mogadisi ke ke le bohile um archdeacon ke bona bo ntate ba ntse ba go hodisa bana eh ke tlo kopa motsotsong wa hona jwale ke kope eh a botigolo le ausma le sole ba tlo ema mo a botigolo ona le tribute e a tlo yetsang And then in Ausmalo Sole, Utobala, a message from me. And then in Kirba, uh, Emma together because they need to support each other. 
They need to learn to be there for each other as they've always been there for their parents, as they've always been there, I want to believe, um, for one another. Let, us all, let them also continue to hold hands and move on and realize we need now to continue doing what we used to do for both our parents, but now do it extra because Kabudu to Kukle, Father Sobanto and Harile, Koka, Harabeke, Are Abita, Me, Makolan, Are. She was the soulmate, Yanta Tekolan. So now the soulmate has gone, and now they need to make sure for she's forever comfortable, she's forever without need or want. Abdu Holo, Le Osmal Soleta, Habakata, and then I get who told your procession? No procession. Itare haba feta kwaire reta besere kala reta and introit him reta la the requiem mess. Okay. Oh, baba ba 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 mpula maso kiko patswarel kiko patswaralo haholo. The Reverend Gift Muerani, uh, who is the mayor of Mfulweni, 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 and then after that, who is the mayor of Mfulweni. Over to you, uh, Mayor. Ne I just want to read the message from the friends Santa Te. Muruti Israel Kwelani. As soon as I received this message, I contacted his friends as far as Ireland in Europe to inform them about his passing away. And Father Patrick then sent me this message and said, please read this message on behalf of Minister's Solidarity Group. That is the group that was responding to the crisis that engulfed this region. So the message, Hoyaka Father Patrick, on behalf of the rest of them, Mulaizona Okopanesele Father Edward, who is currently in Namibia. Their message reads thus, I'm left behind alone facing the unprecedented times. All leaders I knew and worked with are passing away like running water. They are the heartfelt, these are the heartfelt ways, the cry of our leader, Reverend Moerani, and the rest who conveyed this message to us this is the cry and the words of comfort we are sending to the family. At the recent past of Reverend Israel Kwelani of the Anglican Church, Father Kwelani now joins his great ancestors, who are also members of the Val Ministers Solidarity Group. Reverend Jeff Musilani and Reverend Ben Putulo and Reverend Isaac Kulukutu, Reverend Putulo, Reverend Kwaho, Reverend Lord McCamel, and other many who passed away. Lately, it was Bishop Mulefe in Chaville. These men and women, under the prophetic leadership of the South African Council of Churches, were among the bravest Christian clergy in South Africa. The apartheid security police tried to destroy them, 
by sowing division in their congregations, but failed. In South African military intelligence, there was a campaign as far as Washington, D.C., to create conflict in this region, but through the cohesion amongst the clergy, we succeeded to drive it back. Their legacy has benefited the Christian church in South Africa. Their dedication and hard work prepared the way for peaceful change in South Africa. May their example inspire the young pastors to, of today. May I offer my deepest condolences to the Anglican Church and congregations that Father Kwelani served in the Val. I cry with you at this moment. Put in Subuku greetings here. Subuku is one of the young guys who are who is studying now in Rome to become the priest. So the, he sent also a message. The work of Christian continues. He says, in conclusion, down with corruption. Kereke Yamudimu Ehole, Hotsa Hofara Patrick and Father Edward. My words directly kohori from the ecumenical movement, Yo Father Kwelani Ibileng, one of our members. He's the one and others, Bailing Bang Apuenta Kiwe, the Secretary of the South African Council of Churches, they trusted me that I can lead the church in this province. And I really want to say, on behalf of the ecumenical movement, may his soul rest in peace. My only concern is that when he wanted me most, according to the family, I was nowhere to be found. He wanted to talk to me before he passed away because he's the one who was mentoring me on many things that are, and responsibilities I'm carrying. So I'm saying to the church, may we all live our life as if we are going to die tomorrow. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Uh, I'm going to read, um, you know, some of the, you know, some of the things that I jotted down. Nothing ever prepares you for the loss of a parent. One might argue that because of our religious background, we know exactly what to do in times like these. However, it's still hard because outside of the cassock, uh, chasuble and stole that Papa wore as an Anglican priest, you are still a husband, a father, an uncle, and a grandfather. It is therefore with a heavy heart that I choose to reflect on a life well lived. Um, my friend, Radiat uh, Kipling, if you can keep your head when all about you are losing theirs and blaming it on you, if you can trust yourself when all men doubt you but make allowance for their doubting too, if you can wait and not be tired of waiting, or being lied about, don't deal in lies. Or being hated, don't give way to hating. And yet, don't look too good, nor talk too wise. If you can talk with crowds and keep your virtue, or walk with kings, nor lose the common touch. If neither foes nor loving friends can hurt you, if all men count with you but none too much, if you can fill the unforgiving minute with 60 seconds worth of distance run, yours is the earth and everything that is in it, and which is more, you will be a man, my son. My father was a role model, moral compass, a friend, a leader, a pastor. He was firm and always gave clear guidance. His friend was say, once said, his yes is a yes and his no is a no. He had an ability to dream big 
and capability to follow through and implement those dreams. He was diligent and hardworking and immersed himself in everything that he did. He was an excellent project manager and developed many churches wherever he went. For example, Tabanchu di Tuteng in Lesotho, Church of the Resurrection where we are today, and uh, many others. Even with the smallest of and see his positive contribution to his family, for his family, community, Anglican Church at large, I can safely say that Papa served the Lord with distinction. In the words of 2 Timothy um, chapter 4, verse 7, I have fought the good fight, I have finished the race, I have kept the faith. Farewell, Papa, farewell, my friend, farewell, my mentor, till we meet again. Thank you. I greet you all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Like Hulu, I'll also read what I have written for my dad. What does one say about their own superhero? What do you say when my first and most solid reference of unconditional love gets taken away from me suddenly and unexpectedly so? A father and daughter relationship that spends over so many years can never be compacted into a single speech of a few minutes. Papa was my superhero. For many years, I've watched him love my mom and us. His sudden passing has shocked so many. And although he was not young anymore, we had all hoped that we would spend more times and more years with him. Papa's life is a life well lived. I wish to focus on his love for his family. He was a devoted husband and father. He and my mom recently celebrated their 50th wedding anniversary in April. Many expressions has been used to describe the two of them. Some have said they are soulmates, and some have said a couple made in heaven. People would often comment on how similar the two of them looked. One brave member of the congregation actually asked him, did you perhaps marry your sister? They relied on each other a feletsang ntate le molekane ke lebohe le nna se bakaso ke se fueng hore ke tla ke ganne bese ena motsotso wa ona jwale ke nka marapo ana ke a neletsa go canon kuseli so bantwana for the requiem mess mo rentseng phoso le tle le re tshwarele mo rentseng hantle le tle le jwetse babang ka gona hore le le teng re nna re gone hore can we have an intro? It?
just before Rebina in 12, Rikyoko Pachinana, those who don't know, our toilets are on my left hand side here. Home Mepili and then Bunta Tekal Sapili Kama. Then Kanapo Eritrea Mabukin Kayo. Hapo Samodi Sako Bukin Epo Hai. Uskewa, Mutu Usalek or Weaha. Only those Baba registered in Harilipa. He won a Babu Mabuka. Because Haripi Kapa and Po Emisiwa, then the Katanako, where we go dating, we can have a little bit of an honorable income.
Almighty, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness and keep you in eternal life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. God our Father, your Son Jesus Christ died and rose again for our salvation. We entrust to you the soul of your servant Israel. Pray that he and all the faithful departed may be revealed as your children when Christ shall come again. Go with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory now and forever. Amen. What then shall we say in response to this? If God is for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare his own son, but gave him up for us all, how will he not also along with him graciously give us all things? Who will bring any charge against those whom God has chosen? It is God who justifies. Who is he that condemns? Jesus Christ, who died more than that, who was raised to life, is at the right hand of God and is also interceding for us. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall trouble or hardship or persecution or famine? or nakedness, or danger, or sword, as it is written. For your sake, we face death all day long. We are considered as sheep to be slaughtered. No, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death 
nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the great present nor the future, nor any powers, neither heart nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. We stand for the gradual hymn as we prepare for the reading of the Gospel. Sesotho 41. 41, Sesotho. 41, Sesotho. Please, 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 
May the words of my mouth and the meditations of our hearts be acceptable unto thee, O Christ, our strength and our Redeemer. And may I speak in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Good morning to all of you. On behalf of the Bishop, Bishop William, William, on behalf of our chapter members, on behalf of the leadership of the diocese, on behalf of all the clergy of the diocese, and on behalf of the parishioners at large of this diocese, I would like to extend my sincere condolences to Aida, the children of Father Israel, Israel, the grandchildren, the Tohol, the extended family. But as the church, we will continue to pray for you. During the difficult time of mourning and grieving. I would also like at this time to quote St. Paul from Romans 8. 31 to 39, God is for us. Who Who can can be against against us? But Jesus says, Do not be worried and upset. Do not let your heart be troubled. Believe in God and believe also in me. In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I'm going there to prepare a place for you. So that where I am, you may be too. And I think today it is fitting and proper, it is right to say, we are here to give God back to God what belongs to God. We are here to give back to God what belongs to God. One is being reminded by whatever article you buy in the toy stores. And when you look at the bottom side of the article or toy or whatever, you will read there made in China, made in Japan, made in Taiwan, made in America, you and I, made by God. Made by God. So we give back to God today what belongs to God. What has belonged to God all his years on this earth is a husband, is a father, is a minister in the church, an ordained minister in the church, is a community leader. All these years, Father Israel belonged to God. And we just give back to God what had come from him in the first place. And God is good all the time. So Jesus said to his disciples in John 14, in my father's house are many mansions. If you were not so, I would have told you. I'm going there to prepare a place for you. Now, now, when one, one looks at John 41 to 8, there are certain phrases and key 
Death is not easy to understand. It is difficult to comprehend. And to fully love with it. For the people, all these years of him as a priest, he has explained the similar presence of God, the similar power of God to many a Greek and I'm sure that he was always successful in preaching there. Because you will never preach something that you don't believe in yourself. Amen. So to me it says, Father Israel, he preached it. He lived this world. He lived this world. His whole life was sent from this world. And this was such a gentle, gentle giant. giant. In the church of God. And, and it was important for Jesus at the time to prepare his disciples of his departure. They, they couldn't understand. understand. They would not accept it. They thought that there is still a long and life, long years with Jesus in witnessing, in listening, in seeing. The, the Messiah, Messiah at work. But he said to them, this will come to an end. I am going to my father, your father. I am going there to prepare a place for you. So that I am afterwards. We all may be together. I am going to prepare a banquet for you. So that when you end on the side, you will pass into the banquet and live there forever in the presence of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. There, there was, was no way, way that, that Father Israel could have prepared us for this day. We never expected that on this day we will gather here to give back to God what belongs to God. That is how suddenly in in not knowing when death can come to us. That is how unpredictable our end chapter is. Hence Jesus always reminds us in the Gospels, be prepared, be alert, be on watch, be vigilant. For you don't know the time nor the hour. Be prepared. Jesus tried to prepare his disciples. Somehow we were not prepared by Father Israel for this day. But he knew as a priest in the church, he knew and he was ready. But this is what life is all about. To know and to become ready. To live as if we're going to die tomorrow. Later. Because that is how the early Christians lived their lives. They lived as if they were going to die today. And when one lives like that, you don't live with any regret. You also don't die with any regret. You have lived a full life. And I'm sure that many of us here, we are not ready yet. I know it, you know it. We are not 
ready yet. There is still some outstanding debts we need to go and pay. There are still people in the church that we don't talk to. We don't talk to them. We avoid them. We like to talk behind them. We must still make right with some. There are still some family members of mine that I still need to go and reconcile with. There are still outstanding things you and I need to make. Amen. Let us not be scared. Let's admit it and own up to it and say, Amen, it's like that. Amen, it's like that. There are still things that we need to correct. Which means if you and I need to die now, we will die with regret. And God is giving us that opportunity to listen. To do introspection. To internalize what we hear. And to change. God is giving us that opportunity. So that no one may die with regret. And Jesus says then to his disciples... I'm going to prepare a place for you. So that where I am, you may be too. Still many of us are scared of death. And you might be surprised, people sitting there, the laity. You might be surprised. We wear callers. We are known as preachers and ministers in the church. But even some of us are scared to die. Some of us are even scared to die. So now, what are we preaching? And what are we loving? What are we really preaching? And what are we loving? People loosely don't want to talk about death and dying. When, when you bring up the topic of death and dying in any conversation, then they will say, oh, you are bad luck. Oh, bad luck. Why must we see death and dying as bad luck? Because death and dying is necessary. Something must happen to this body to take you out. There's no way you can go out other than dying. And that is why Jesus said, I'm going to prepare a place for you. Maybe we want, we want Jesus also to eat. You must die so that you can come to me. Because that's what Jesus meant. You must die in order to come to me. You must die in order to come to me. I normally, when I deliver sermons on funerals, I, I normally say to me, I, I use this metaphor. On death and dying. Obviously, one, it's death and dying is just the end of one chapter. The end of one chapter. And then it's the beginning of the new chapter. The beginning of the everlasting chapter. The beginning of the glorious chapter. So we, we are still in this one chapter chapter in this life whereas father israel has passed on from this life chapter to the next the place which jesus has gone to prepare for all of us to me it's like a big house with many rooms in that house and God and Jesus, the Spirit, is all active in all the rooms. But one day, you slip out of one room into another. And you can't come back to where you have slipped into. And the ones you have left behind, they can only go to where you are. But you can't come back to where they are in that room. 
So death, my brothers and sisters, is actually a friend. It's a friend taking us from this one room into the next where all the ancestors are waiting for us in the other room. What a glorious transition. That is a glorious transition. That is an indication that God has so created us that you shall never die. Your body may die, but your soul will live on forever. No one will ever die. If you believe in God, if you believe in Jesus, you shall never die. Your body dies and decays. But your spirit lives on forever. As you join up in the other chapter, in the other room, with the ancestors. Amen. And God is good. All the time. Therefore, St. Paul says in Corinthians, Death, where is your sting? Grave, where is your victory? For it is all been swallowed up by the resurrection of Christ from the dead. And just as Christ has been raised back to life, so will you and I. That's our trademark. Made by God. And what God says in the scriptures is all true. Father Israel knew that. He preached that. We loved that. You and I should do the same. And therefore, my brothers and sisters, we thank God for such a powerful giant of the Anglican Church who had the opportunity of living for God, ministering for God, teaching for God, doing godly stuff for over 50 years. We thank God for them. We thank God for the life Father Israel lived as a family man, a mentor to so many of us. Because when I came into the ministry in 1993, I saw Father Israel 1963. Deacon, 64. Yes. Yes. I, I am, I don't know, I'm blank. Because if I, I look at mine, deacon, 1993, priesthood, 1994. But I'm glad when I came into the ministry, into this diocese, Father Israel was there as the senior priest. And Many a times as the Vicar General. With it, a lot of conversations telephonically. Lots and lots. Good times. Lots of encouragement from him. Especially at the time when I was going through difficulty in this diocese. It's funny how many priests go through difficulties, man. It's, it's very funny. It's not the church that is the troublemaker. It is individuals in the church who are troublemakers. And they make it hell for other people. Hell! They make it hell! Hell! And when I went through hell, he was there giving me privately support encouragement motivation that is why I stand here where I still stand and only death will take me away from here where I stand these individuals troublemakers in the church troublemakers in the church we must exercise them <laughs> Our 
I must conclude. I'm concluding now. But I'm, uh, it was important for me to mention how Father Israel journeyed with me in my trials and tribulations. And so every priest, Mpo, trials and tribulations await you. It's still coming to you. And to you, Matonoko. It's still coming to you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. There are poison color wearers. They, they are poison. But they wear colors. And they are poison in the church. And sometimes they make life so, so, so difficult for a fellow priest. And that should not happen in the church of God. We must stand against them. It should not happen in the church of God. <laughs> we thank God for Father Israel. But I believe that Father Israel's departure, his death, can be a death of victory. Through his death, you and I can now look at our own lives and see how far we are from God or how close we are with God. Through his death, we can look at our family lives because this was an example and maybe brush up our own family lives through his death. Through his death, you and I can really make introspection and see what kind of a person I am in the church of God. Am I a blessing or am I a curse? Am I a, a, a poison jealous in the church? A poison jealous or am I a blessing? Through his death, you and I can really make up with ourselves, with the people around us, with God, and reconstruct our relationships and give God the glory for that. Jesus says, do not be worried and upset. So my brother, my sister, if you are wearing a collar and you worried and upset, do not get anxious unnecessarily. Many of them have gone through poison because of poison jealousies. You, Mpo, will also come out of it. For God is good all the time. God is good. And therefore, in my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you, I'm going there to prepare a place for you. So that where I am, you may be too. In the name of God, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen.
third Eucharistic prayer, page 122. The third Eucharistic prayer, page 122. Morena Pedi Luna,
dikteng gura bela kau itu kau betul guru kau ada lama lima dia kerja kerja kau pangai pemuin kim kim ya oh anda lina oh mrena silvani kere kaya how kau para manfaati uruh di sel ratong amohon di bulan ubi shopo waruna lewat di sabot ke payona Pukul ada mana bawa runa kai cuma leting, bai na licepo yang tua, kau lu hulu pada Israel, elmu perhatian kali katrina, mohon boleh coba paleting, baku mana mohau gue na, uba amu hele kanye yang seperti ho saham. Trum, kue trum. And in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty. First, I will tell you, Peter, 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 By faith with thanksgiving. Because of the protocols of COVID, we are not supposed we must receive by communion, see receive with wine. We shall receive in one kind, which is the bread. The only person that is privileged to receive is me. <laughs> communion gets paid starting with the priest then the family then uh, and the people of God thank you uh -huh.
they are praying, we shall just raise our hands and pray with them whenever it is necessary. Let us prepare for the burial rising whilst we are finishing them. Le mo amure na wane o muri mo. Let us now pray for the bereaved family of Ndate Israel. Almighty God, Father of all mercies and giver of all comfort, deal graciously with those who mourn, that casting all their care on you, they may know the consolation of your love through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Ndira chapelo bakeng sarona ba resanti nengre adi milwe bupila bupila ba au kuri ne hagustale demu au mure kuri kitsebe useberi sa katchanelo nako e saru salizi mona le fati hita taisa pakong ya di bitaruna tempe teori di entem li te mulemo. Seori kalong babu pilo baka mesa kaje so Kriste mrena waruna amen. Amodi mo le rato la hai le sna mo yadi le mohau mo hai aki ati se kera ke yo ba pilo le ba fa le timba le humo na Jesu tu hongi atabo le pete hongi ya muso hai waka mesa amen hallelujah. Swana two o seven.
Kerekeng, Rito Salamon Kerekeng, the family if preparing a worry, but he said, Be Jopano, or Little Fumana, Sangatana Kapuan. So, how Osaima became Dula Unturuti Kamujarateng, you will be fed from here. Number two, a core Bango Dissitan only, go a bouquet echo high, Kibana by a Madike. And then Rekofahori. Why I think it's six, eight people like it. Bounty them born. I can't try the particular stuff You know them. Kibone Batai and Kumabike. And then Re Shebi the Mona Bona de Mabon and everything. Give the group A Tanko LCD screens play, Le Torin. And Bab Bima, the service live to people throughout Southern Africa because we kill our father who said it the Kilontena. And as a result, but in a matter of phone bar COVID nineteen it's a little soon. And then the family even decided, let's do this for a little bit of the by Shebile, but one and two now on a chai to bang put out on the So why Shebile, we want to say thank you to you guys for the wonderful service that you have rendered for us so that people who could not be with us yet, but honor Libone, Bashebe, the service here for the mobile in day. And then, uh, it's 11 o'clock, but Maubani, the undertaker, let's extend it a little bit. And then because we don't want to push things, because So bear with us, I don't want to come an appointment to eight things, know that, uh, it is because we honor uh, Father Israel. And then the rest is like your Kohai, Kokoma Bikin, Abulebuka, Barutu Avatari, Accompany Abuama Bikin, and the other people. And please, 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 Halibito Lauri Lisiko, don't go. I suppose, what is the rest of the service? Mabikin told King Afela Father Montuya, Ori Kuala, the Rapela Yerikaha. You have done a great job by being here. And then we do each and every word in an Ibu and in here too. And with the preachers, I hope Father, you go to the graveside so that they can thank you there. And uh, Father Sobankara is going to the graveside so that they can thank him there and those who have been working with us. So I think I am done, Father, just to say thank you to the people of the Church of. Thank you so much for what you did. Uh, Father, they were not sleeping. No, who said it was not sleeping? When I'm in the direction of the towel, going to go in my direction, I'm going to say farewell, farewell to Mutasa killing this church. How come more than the Tabani Temor, the Tabana, and the Kadi City, or Robona, or the Father Israel, the founder of this congregation here? Right. Protocol. Uh, servers are going to lead us to the cross, followed, we have lay ministers? No. Followed by clergy, then uh, the clergy will be the coffin, and the coffin will be family. Am I correct? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> two, sir. <laughs> followed by the coffin, then coffin, then family, and then the rest of the people that are going to the graveside will go behind the family. So uh, let us process. Uh, the That there's a request that the priests must be the ones that are taking the father to the house. The priests, not all of them, others procession, others are taking father to the house.
Thank you. 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 Thank you.